Are you making these three big mistakes in churn rate reduction? I'm Robert Grove, and this is the show that helps your membership or subscription business to be unleavable. Many subscription leaders tell me, my team has been implementing retention strategies, but it's making churn worse. Ironic, but yes, I actually see it a lot. Unfortunately, some churn rate reduction strategies are actually counterintuitive. Plus, there's one mistake that appears to work initially, but usually backfires, causing high churn rates that can't be stopped. In this episode, I'll reveal the three biggest mistakes subscription businesses make, and I'll share some churn reduction strategies that really work. Before we dive in, press the like button and also subscribe to this channel to make sure that you're the first to know about future episodes. There are three big mistakes that cause high churn rates. When reversed, create consistent retention improvements. Number one, hiding the cancel button. When you really analyze subscribers' actions on your website, it's remarkable how many members visit the subscription admin page and even click the cancel button without ultimately canceling their subscription. They just wanna make sure they can uh, cancel if they decide that they want to. And when you hide the cancel button or create obstacles to canceling, that often causes cancellations to increase. There's some ridiculous cancellation processes out there, even by big well-known companies. For example, the FTC is investigating Amazon Prime for its practices that it believes are deceptive. And I'm sure there's a team within Amazon that's all congratulating themselves for lowering Amazon Prime churn rates. However, any retention improvements from hiding the cancel button and frustrating members by making them jump through unreasonable hoops are always short-lived. Subscribers aren't dumb. They figure it out when you, when, and then you've lost the relationship forever. And, or perhaps you're making mistake number two. Number two is delivering too much for the way your subscribers consume. Every subscription business has a vocal minority of your subscribers who love you. They can't get enough of what you deliver. Because they are so ravenous, you cannot deliver enough to satisfy them, and they always ask for more. The trap is to increase the deliverables to serve your most rabid fans, while you overwhelm the rest of your subscribers. Value is just like water. Too much is just as bad as too little. Instead, offer your excited fans a premium level subscription to get more of what they want while not overwhelming the majority of your subscribers. Do that and you'll see a churn rate reduction because you no longer are overwhelming your subscribers. You transform more new subscribers to this true believer lifetime zealot status with a proper new subscriber on-ramp, which brings us to mistake number three, teaching when you should be leading. This is most prevalent within SaaS subscription businesses, but often publishers and others make the same mistake of reverting to teaching. The thinking is you want your subscriber to get results. To get results, they most often need to implement something, to to follow through or take some steps to, to take action. The problem is teaching is not motivating. It's extremely common to see subscription businesses sending emails with lists of features, templates, or multiple educational videos. How to is rarely the problem. To experience a churn rate reduction from higher subscriber engagement, a new member needs to do two things to take action. Number one, they need to have a clear understanding of the first action to take. And number two, motivation to take action. So it's easy to satisfy mistake number one. You give them one thing to do, uh, one action to take, one fast win to get them started. And even within your monthly deliverable, clarify exactly the one thing to do as a result of what you've delivered. Being clear about one thing is a lot more value than giving them several steps or many different options 
that only leads to confusion. And then there's number two, motivation. This is all about leadership skills. Running a subscription business requires leadership. Give your subscribers a vision of what their future can be like if they fully use your product or service. What will happen in their life? How will people around them react? And how will they see themselves differently? Paint a word picture of the results your product achieves, and you'll get a lot more engagement than with providing more templates, more steps, more educational videos. That's what it takes to be unleavable. Let's summarize what we've covered today. Many subscription businesses are losing subscribers because they are committing one of three mistakes. Here are the mistakes and what to do instead so that you can experience a churn rate reduction. Mistake number one, hide the cancel button. Allow members to cancel who want to. Sure, create a save program, but don't erect obstacles as that could be considered fraud and it actually increases churn in the long run. Mistake number two, deliver too much for the way your subscribers consume. Segment your members. Some are lifers who eagerly want more and more and more of what you deliver. Create a premium level or somehow identify them from your other subscribers so you don't overwhelm the rest of your subscribers by focusing on serving your lifers. And then number three, teach when you should be leading. Strive for clarity. And everything you deliver, it's much more powerful to give clarity over the first step to achieve a win than to present a detailed curriculum of everything that they need to accomplish. And then next, motivate. Paint the picture of what life will be like when your subscriber implements the solution you are delivering. Now, if you liked to implement these customer retention strategies that I've shared in this episode, then I'm confident that you'll love this resource. After more than 25 years of working with subscription and membership businesses, I've identified all of the key factors that are seen in the most successful subscription businesses. If you'd like to know what they are, you can either buy the book on Amazon or instantly download a digital copy for free at subscriptionsmadeeasy.com. After you receive the book, there's an opportunity to have me walk you through the details and get your questions answered. You'll probably want that too, but there's no obligation. What mistakes do you see in subscriber retention? What customer return rate reduction strategies have you implemented? I'd love to get your opinion or, and feedback about that or anything else that we've covered in this episode. Post your thoughts in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll be the first to know when new episodes are, are available. And check out this video on the five keys to subscriber retention during a recession with churn rate reduction strategies to use for faster recurring revenue growth. Enjoy that episode, and I'll see you next time on Be Unleavable.